welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy, and if you're new, then welcome. Uh, today I'm doing a collaboration with Erin from The Collection Vintage and Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. And what we're doing is we're showing you how we decorate for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, usually I don't decorate for St. Patrick's Day, but this year I think I went a little bit overboard. So I'll show you what I did, but um, also uh, I will try to put a link down below of the playlist so you can see how everybody else put their decorations together. And I'll also link Aaron's channel and Cindy's channel so you could check them out also. Um, let's take a look and see what I did. I didn't do too much in this room. I just... Um, I put these two little toys here. That's just like a vintage doll with her little plaid dress and red hair and freckles. I thought she looked Irish. And I just have a little faux succulent and that little white uh, creamer. That's a, a vintage ceramic dish with a faux succulent in it. And over here I have this cute, cute little kitty cat in a boot. I just think he's so darling. And this cup, I just got this past uh, weekend at a yard sale, and it has a little green, uh, I think that's lily, lilies of the valley, I'm not really sure. But it's pretty, and I thought it would look kind of good for St. Patrick's Day with the green. And my little Cupid doll, I crocheted that little hat for her, and the shamrock, and her little skirt. So she fits in right now with St. Patrick's Day. And then she has some silver garland that has a little bit of greenery in there. So that's for this little area. Now over here in the kitchen area is where I went a little bonkers. I might've got a little carried away. So let's see up here. I just put a little shamrock there and I have some old vintage blocks that I spelled out the word lucky. And over here, I have some vintage-inspired cars. They're not vintage, but what they are, um, I actually printed them out on the computer. I thought they were really nice. This little, uh, I don't know what you call them, kind of elf-looking guy I got a couple years ago at a yard sale. Little Raggedy Ann planter. I put a little shamrock in there and crocheted her a little hat. Here's some more cars that I, vintage cars that I, I printed out on my computer. Another elf. I just love those cars. They're just so pretty. And then I did my rag garland with some greenery and I um, crocheted some little shamrocks there. The shamrock garland and pinned up some more cards. Oh, I left out that for Valentine's Day. I gotta take that down. Um, then here's some more greenery, a little card that says, may you have enough happiness to make you sweet, enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, enough hope to make you happy. And there's a little mushroom uh, on a board that was hand painted that I just got recently at a yard sale. My little Bailey's creamer, or uh, actually it's a sugar bowl, with some crocheted shamrocks. And there's my little um, St. Patrick's Day girl. I don't know if she's really St. Patrick's Day, but she fit right in. And I just got her this past weekend. I thought she was really cute. I crocheted some doilies. Like I said, I went really I went overboard, but you know, what else is there to do nowadays? And then I just have a little um, milk glass compote that I got a couple weeks ago, also at a yard sale, uh, with some more printables. And another yard sale item that I got about a month ago. And that's a little vintage um, pin from Avon the shamrock. I put one of my little printables in a jar over there. And this little vintage jar, just tied a green lacy ribbon around that. There's my Bailey's creamer. 
all decked out. That's a little earring, a shamrock earring from Avon. That's vintage. I've had that forever. Just some more greenery, another little leprechaun hat that I crocheted. Some little leprechaun guys. Ashtray. This is an Easter card actually, but it has little shamrocks on it and little elves. And I thought it kind of looked more like St. Patrick's Day. So I put that in there. My little toadstool, the little frog. Another girl who I thought fit in good for St. Patrick's Day. With some more shamrocks and lace, some faux greenery. A little kiss me sign. And there's just some more miscellaneous items. A little left in um, shoe. Like a little vintage, I don't know if they're vintage, I think they're vintage little old maids cars that look kind of good for St. Patrick's Day with their little green hats. Another one of my little elf guys. Isn't he just cute? Look at that expression. Ha! Huh, it's just so funny. And then another little girl that I printed out and put some um, little garland around her. And I just got this little coffee container last weekend and I thought it, it fit right in for St. Patrick's Day and there you have it that's everything Let's see if I can get a full shot here Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to check the links down below and see how everybody else decorated and show them some love. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video.